Here we go, here's a Sharnhorse game that's also on Two Brothers. I'm sorry for all those Two Brothers that I always see on the stream, but what can I say? Fun things didn't happen on this map for me. And right here we actually have the glorious return of Mr. Lucas Diedrich, who was off on leave from the clan for a little bit because of some health issues. And we also have Mr. Elvenwolf, and they're both in Shores. And I'm in Sharnhorse, because I hadn't taken out the Sharnhorse for a while, and now that the clan respec has come, the clan uh, Captain Respec has come out, now my German captains aren't as messed up anymore. They're just everywhere, and I didn't know what to do with them. <laughs> and so on our team we have a Nelson at Sharnhorse, a Nagato in New Mexico, they have a King George and Eisenhower in Nagato, and a Bayern. And they also have an extra battleship. They have a Gulio, which isn't great for us. We do have an extra DD, though, and we have a Monacan. And that Monacan is actually going to do very well this game. Now, they have a York, which can be a good long range spammer. Crash, but he's alright too. Dallas and Atlanta are close range, so if uh, Lucas and Elvin manage to get some range out on them, then it's not going to be much of a problem. The Fujin is always a problem because it's a freaking Fujin. The Kotnik I'm not super worried about because on wide open maps like this it's less effective. And yeah, we decide to go A. So we have the Icarus and the Monacan who are going with us, and we have two shores, we have a Sharon horse, a New Mexico, and a Pensacola. There we go, we start trying to get some shots off on that Grafsch Bay. Sad that I forget that the Sharon horse actually has really fast guns. No damage there. Not nice and angled, and that's a Gulio. Gulio may be good, but even his AP shells aren't going to do much to a tier 7. Go, I'm only going half speed now. Because I'm kind of the guy being shot at a lot, and this thing is not the Roma. It's tanky, but it's not the Roma. So we go ahead and uh, go back and forth a little bit, try and uh, soak up some damage. So yeah, I'm kind of being spammed a lot. So I decided to go forward and try and turn it a bit before it gets nastier. And also because that Nagato just went behind the island and he can't shoot me now. We'll flip wild a bit so we can let the DD spot a little. There we go, that shot on the grass is much better. And the Monkey is trying to smoke me again. He, I mean, it, it was a good effort. It's not going to work because of the, uh, the Nagato over there, but it was still nice. There we go, we get double fired, but luckily my DC, my damage control is about to come off of cooldown. There we go. Try and get some shots around that island to hit that Nagato, but sadly Dispersion is going to troll me. Yeah, one ricochet. Problem solved, sir. I come out because I have to turn before that Nagato comes out, otherwise I'm not going to be able to escape. And of course get double fired again because it's a King George and they have like a 50% chance or something ridiculous on their HE shells. Yep, so I try, actually, I wonder why my uh, damage control still lit up. I know it was down because I would have used it otherwise. Might be a replay bug or something. So we go down, but luckily, the game does not end here. So Lucas went back to try and uh, blunt their advance at D a bit, but that doesn't really go, isn't really going very well. Elvin's still back there trying to get some stuff done too. At this point, we really need these DDs to do work. And Lucas kind of is forced to go right down the slot. Luckily, they're so far extended on the east side that he can actually get through without getting murdered instantly, so that's good. 
Yeah, this is not looking good because we only have... Well, we just, uh... We killed three of them now, so that's good. <laughs> but yeah, we're half the team's down. <laughs> so this isn't super great. Eh, I can't wish I could free camera on replays. Luckily, the Icarus is going to torp the Nagato, and Lucas is going to take C cap. There we go, Lucas manages to kill the York over there, who, tr who tries to get torps on them, but doesn't hit them. Which is kind of weird, I would have just used AP and uh, Citadel the Shores, because the Shores is very low armored. Very lightly armored. Now that Nagato took some stuff, so the Icarus is shooting at him now. Elephant's going to help. And I'm on again, I'm on again his torps off on the Gulio, so hopefully they hit. There we go, Nagato tries to turn around, but he is in, up against far too many guns, so he goes down. The Monokai manages to take out the Gulio, so they're still pushing on this side, but the main push is going to be a Dallas and an Omaha, and that Nice now is nowhere close enough to be able to use his guns effectively. And the New Mexico finally manages to kill the Graf Space. So right now, things are kind of turning around. They may have more points, but we have four ships and they have five, so that was a far sight better than the six down versus two we had before. So they're making up for it, slowly. So Lucas comes around from uh, C Cap over there, and Elvin is right there, so... I want them, I really want them to kill that Fusion, but, uh, but sadly he's going to smoke up. Go, the Omaha and Dallas are up. Lucas has come around the corner, so they're going to start shooting the Omaha. <laughs> and Lucas is getting shots on the Dallas. Luckily, he got pretty much all of his guns on him, so that was a good quarter of his health. The points still aren't looking good, though. They have a eight, have eight hundred twenty-six, and we have six hundred thirty-nine, and they have uh, the cap majority. The Dells temporarily disappears, but he does come back. And the New Mexico actually does a really good volley and deletes him, and that only leaves the Omaha. Well, and the Fusion, but I'm not sure what the Fusion's doing at this point. Yeah, and when you have a Omaha versus two shores in New Mexico, it's kind of a foregone conclusion. There we go, Lucas kills the shores, and now they just have to kill the Kamikaze. Or the Fusion, it's pretty much the same thing. There we go, and now the points are a little better. But once again, they have three caps when we have two, and they have a Byron over there, so that isn't especially good. There we go. For some reason, the uh, stream... Well, okay, yeah, it was cutting off the bottom. Yep, there's a Fusion. He's trying to run away. They really need to kill him if they want to actually... There we go. Monokain actually gets a Torp on him, so that is another problem taken care of. Now they only have two battleships, and uh, we have two Shores, a tech, a uh, New Mexico, and a Monokain. We're still not looking good on points, though. because they still have three caps and we really need to neutralize one of those. So the Byron's starting to come up, so they try and focus fire on that. Sadly, Lucas is uh, not in a place to deal with this fire very much, so he goes for a rush. Now the Shores does have Torps. They're really short range, but they do a lot of damage, so if, if uh, Lucas can get close enough, he can probably take out that Byron if it doesn't sit at all him through the nose. Because the Byron has very big shells and the Shores does not have good bow armor. 
So at this point, it's mostly a DPS race to see if they can kill the Byron before it kills Lucas. Now that New Mexico is about 5,000 health, but he's out of repairs. Luckily, luckily the Byron's focusing on Lucas instead of the other way around. And Amonicam, luckily, is also uh, taking the A cap, so we almost have a uh, at least at least a middling. But even then, we have to kill. It's it's only to buy time. We still have to kill all of their ships in order to win. So this one thing's starting to get intense. Lucas takes a shot through the nose, but luckily he doesn't sit at all. I don't think so. He still has about ten thousand health left. And that's when I finally wake up and start getting that. Elven Wolf just got the Confederate. Both he and Lucas have it now. So there we go. There goes the Torps. And Lucas does it. So now I tell him to go and try and uh, turn off that decap because we have a very, very slight points lead right now. Unfortunately, that Nyz now has uh, pretty big guns, and that New Mexico is pushing in, and he has doesn't have the health to do so. So right now, it's looking like it's going to be okay. There we go. There's some good torps on the Nyz now. He's about half health now. But. There's the flash. Yep, I tell Lucas to go take D so we can stop that, that point taking over and hopefully he'll be able to win this. Though probably with Mary just have him go charge the Nizen now. But then again, if the Nizen now got a lucky shot on him, it could have uh, lost us the game. But yeah, the New Mexico is going in. He really doesn't have the health to be doing so. And he goes down. So now they have 945 and we have 855. Even if we do take that third cap, it's not going to be quick enough to win the game. And if anyone else dies, we lose. So that knight now starts going in. He's on fire, luckily. So Elvin is doing his damnedest to try and burn him down. There we go, see? Sadly, the... Destroyer just took a hit. Yep, see, 4,000 health, 3,000 health. Come on, get him, get him. 977, if someone dies, we lose right now. 2,000, 1,000, and luckily, they do it. And we win, by the skin of our teeth.